morning students welcome to my channel i am anand here today i am going to teach you about metric units and my topic is conversion of units conversion of units so my topic is conversion of units here you are given question convert the following units into the given units Here, four hundred fifty-six hectoliter should be equal to how dash liter. So, in four hundred fifty-six hectoliter, how many liters will be there? So, already I have taught you that formula: milli centi, milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo liter. Milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo. Liter. Whatever is the unit. Whatever is the unit here. Milli, milliliter, centiliter, deciliter, liter, decaliter, hectoliter, and kiloliter. So here four hundred fifty-six hectoliter to be converted into liters. So where is hectoliter? Hectoliter. Yes, milliliter is the smallest unit here. Milliliter is the smallest unit. Milliliter is the here smallest unit. So then centiliter, deciliter, liter, deciliter, hectoliter, and kiloliter is the here largest unit. Here is hectoliter to be converted into liters. Hectoliter to be converted into where what liters? Hectoliter to be converted into liters. Hectoliter is the greater. When greater unit is to be converted into the smaller unit, then what do we do? We multiply. So hectoliter when will be converted into deciliter. You will multiply by ten. When hectoliter is being converted into liters, you will multiply by one hundred. You will multiply by one hundred. So four hundred fifty-six into hundred. Then the unit will be converted into liters. So this is equal to how much? Forty-five thousand six hundred liters. Forty-five thousand six hundred liters. Then seven centiliter to be converted into liters. Where is centiliter? So centiliter is the smallest unit. Centiliter to be converted into liters. When the smaller unit is being converted into the bigger unit, then What we do? We divide. So we divide. So same pattern you will follow here. Milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo liter. Okay. Milli centi deci liter. Now centi liter to be converted into liters. So when centi liter will be converted to deci liter, you will divide by ten. When centi liter will be converted Into liters, you will divide by one hundred. You will divide by one hundred. So seven will be divided by one hundred. The unit will be converted into liters. So it will be zero point zero seven liters. Then hectoliter. Hectoliter to be converted into liters. Hectoliter is greater and liter is a smaller unit. So when bigger unit is to be converted into smaller unit, then what do we do? We multiply. Now hectoliter. This is hectoliter to be converted into liters. Same like first question. When hectoliter is being converted into liters, then we will multiply by one hundred. Forty-eight point five will be multiplied by one hundred, and the unit will be converted into liters. So, when you will multiply by one hundred, then it will become four thousand four thousand eight hundred fifty. Then, along with liters, then ninety seven centiliter to be converted into yeah, liters, dash liters. So ninety seven centiliter. Where is centiliter? This is centiliter. Centiliter. 
to be converted into liters. So centiliter is the smaller unit, smaller than liters. So when smaller unit being converted into bigger unit, we divide. We divide. So when centiliter will be converted into deciliter, you will divide by 10. When centiliter will be converted into liters, you will divide by 100. You will divide by 100. So, 97 will be divided by 100 and the unit will be converted into liters. So, it will be equal, is equal to 0 0.97 liters. 0 0.97 liters. Then, 14.5 liters. Should be is equal to how much? Dash, that's deciliter. When liters are there and deciliter, you are going to convert into deciliter. So, liters are greater, not greater than deciliters. So, when greater unit we convert into smaller unit, we multiply. So, where is liter here? Liter is here. Liter to be converted into deciliter. Milli, centi, deci, liter, deca, hecto, kiloliter. Now, liter to be converted into? Liter to be converted into deciliter. So, here, what do we do? We will multiply by 10. So, 40.5 will be multiplied by 10 and you will get 145 deciliter. Liters to be converted into? Deciliter, what will you do? You will multiply by 10. Then 943 liter is equal to dash milliliter. So liters are greater than milliliter. When greater unit is being converted into smaller unit, then we multiply. When greater unit is being converted into smaller unit, then we multiply. And when smaller unit is here and is being converted into bigger unit, then we divide. So, 943 liter to be converted into milliliter. So, here it is liter. It is liter. Liter to be converted into milliliter. When liter will be converted into deciliter, you will multiply by 10. When liter will be converted into centiliter, you will multiply by 100. When liter will be converted into milliliter, you will multiply by 1000. So, 943 will be multiplied by 1000 and the unit will be converted into milliliters. So, what will you get? 94,300 here, here 943 liter into 1000. Then, you, what will you get? Here, 9,43,000. 9 lakh 43, 43,000. 943 will be multiplied by 1000 and the unit that liters will be converted into milliliters. So it is 9,43,000 milliliters. Then 28.54 liters to be converted into centiliters. Liters to be converted into centiliters. So liter is the bigger unit and centiliter is the smallest. Now, bigger unit to be converted into smaller unit, then what do we do? We multiply. So, liters when converted into centiliter, what will you do? You will multiply by 100. You will multiply by 100 and the unit will be converted into centiliter. Multiply liters by 100 and the unit will be converted into centiliters. So, what will you get? 2,854 centiliters. Then 4,894 liter to be converted into decaliter. So liters are smaller than decaliters. So liters are here and decaliter. When smaller unit to be converted into bigger unit, what do we do? We divide. So liters are smaller than decaliters. So you will divide. This 4894 by 10 and the unit will be converted into deca liter. So here you will, what will you write? 4 
smaller unit to be converted into bigger unit then what do we do we divide we divide so 2005 liter are there and we are going to convert it to hectoliter so liter is here and hectoliter is here smaller unit to be converted into bigger unit so you will divide divide by 100 2005 will be divided by 100 and the unit will be converted into hectoliters so it is how much 20.05 hectoliter okay this conversion of metric units is very simple but you should learn this basic formula milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo liter milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilo try to recite and then it will be in your mind and you can convert any given metric unit into the required unit okay so try to learn the methods how to learn okay try to recite one or two times and it will be fixed in your mind milli centi deci liter deca hecto kilometer very simple and you can solve practice on four those are here given practice on three i have given to you and non metric units non metric units there are some more units other than metric units which are called non metric units some commonly used non metric units are inch foot yard mile pound pound yes inch foot yard mile i have taught you about these non metric units uh, in 1 inch there are 0.0254 meters in 1 feet in 1 feet there are 12 inches 12 inches 1 yard is equal to 3 feet that is approximately 0.9144 meter mile 1 mile is equal to 1760 yards that is equal to 1.60934 kilometer or that is also equal to 1609.34 meters then 1 pound pound weight and symbol for pound is lb 1 pound is equal to 0.4535 kg 1 quintal quintal and tons are also non metric units of weight and their relationship with metric unit is 1 quintal is equal to 100 kg 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg so you will do practice zone 4 convert the following units into the given units mile into kilogram uh, yes might mile, miles into kilometer sorry miles into kilometer feet into meters tons into kilogram and kilogram into quintals okay you will do practice zone 4 practice zone 4 that is your homework practice zone 4 and try to learn uh, that is non metric units are given at page number 108 okay and learn these units accordingly based on that you will solve practice on number 4 then i can teach you some more about non metric units also here yeah? non metric units based on that you will do non metric units so stay alert stay healthy take proper care thank you and have a nice day God bless you. Thank you.